The Austin Chamber has unveiled an agenda meant to improve the city's affordability, ranging from housing needs to permitting and building a skilled workforce. Mayor Steve Adler says access to economic opportunity is another important piece. One, a new resolution hopes to tackle by meeting people where they are, connecting jobs with communities in need. KXAN's Kylie McGivern shows where the disconnect is happening. I've definitely met quite a few people that don't have college degrees that have to find entry-level positions in other fields. Positions often in other parts of town, adding to the burden of transportation costs. They've found that they have to usually drive pretty far away. What's known as the Eastern Crescent, including neighborhoods in Central East Austin, Montopolis, and Runberg, for example, is where the city aims to focus its efforts, incentivizing middle-skilled jobs, those beyond a high school diploma, but less than a four-year degree. Austin has a wide diversity of jobs in our community. It's not just tech and it's not just life sciences. Amy Holloway, an economic development strategist, says people may not realize the jobs are out there, naming manufacturing, healthcare, and public service. But here's the issue. What we see is a disconnect between the people who can fill those jobs and where the jobs are located. The Austin Chamber says that's what City Council's resolution aims and needs to address. We still have over 30,000 people that are unemployed and most of those people lack an associate's degree. Just being able to target certain parts of the city. We just don't have an economic development policy that helps helps attract those kind of companies. We haven't had one in three years and we really need to do that now. Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. Another important piece is to support job training and paid internships. A community workforce master plan has a goal to secure middle skilled jobs for 10,000 economically disadvantaged people in Travis County by 2022. Many point to the soaring cost of home prices as one reason Austin is no longer affordable. The latest numbers from the Austin Board of Realtors in December show the median price for a single family home in Austin is $355,000. That is up $85,000 more than it was for a single family home the same time the year before, and it is up $145,000 from more than five years ago. As our city continues changing incentives, one Texas lawmaker wants to stop them on the state level. Senator Connie Burton filed bills to get rid of the Texas Enterprise Fund and Major Events Trust Fund. Both started back in 2003, and since then, the Enterprise Fund has given out more than $600 million to companies who have brought jobs to Texas. The Major Events Trust Fund has helped pay for Formula One and the Super Bowl in Houston. Since 2003, it's paid out $275 million. Senator Burton says businesses and jobs would come anyway and calls using tax dollars, quote, wasteful and abusive. But Governor Greg Abbott says that they work. He wants to pour $108 million into the Enterprise Fund over the next two years. State lawmakers, though, have only put $43 million in their budgets.